Day of the Dead and the artwork around it helps people and helps me feel at home. I'm Lottie. I'm a Dia de los Muertos artist. It is a holiday meant for people to honor everyone who has ever been a part of your life. I was running this business with my partner, Chris. He was my partner for 18 years, and he passed away about five years ago. After Chris died, Day of the Dead became a whole new holiday to me. It became something that was not just joyful and whimsical, but something that's gonna make you cry while you're celebrating it. He ran the business and I handled all the art stuff. On a busy day in the studio, I have got my heat press running, the oven running, and the laser running. If something's in the oven for more than 20 seconds, it's burnt. Timing is critical on those things, so I have to be able to hear. So basically, I'm just in a noisy room. I don't even hear the phone. I can't listen to anything, and I'm just working. With the Lucid Audio neckband, I'm able to listen to music that I love, but I'm also able to amplify all the background noises so that I can hear the bells and whistles going off. I can actually answer the phone, hear a conversation, take an order, all something that is new. The fact that the process changes to a joyful process to me makes everything come out a little bit happier. It puts me in a nice frame of mind to be able to watch as many movies as I can during a day while I'm actually painting. With the wireless streamer, what I'm watching on TV, the audio comes directly into the neckband. I used to put on subtitles so that I could read, but then if I looked down while I was doing something and I looked up and something happened, I had to reverse. I could actually hear the movie in my ears while I'm painting, and it's so nice. Recently, I've been getting into improv. There's a lot of people that would rather do anything than be on stage and vulnerable in front of a group of people. That's why I do it. <laughs> People are endlessly afraid of the fact that death is coming. It's just what happens. We're always gonna be running into things that scare us. And being afraid is not really a good enough reason not to do something that you want to do. 